to Mozaka. All right, in this case now, we working on, we have got a problem. We have got a slipping pin. Here we go, that shows it like I'm putting pressure there and it keeps coming back. And it keeps coming back. Or in case you cannot tune your note and it always goes half a note down. That means there's a slipping pin. There's a beautiful um, glue, kind of a glue. It's called a Loctite 263, and that's the um, actually high strength. That's the better one. Um, best to use that. I'll show you how to use this and make sure that pin stops slipping. Right. You go back and undo it. That brings the pin back to the neutral position. Take the pin out. All the way. Now you're putting a little bit of this ketchup. Uh, Make it a joke, of course. This is special Loctite. It looks like ketchup. We put a little bit on here, rubbing it around, but more importantly, you put one drop on the one side of the cavity wall of the hole, and the other one on the other side, and then you use a piece, a match or a piece of cut off string to rub it around the side of the wall nicely so it's not it's no good to just put a, a drop into the hole uh, because then it wouldn't won't work now I'm putting it back just by hand a little bit using my tuning key again bringing it all the way down till the thread disappears making sure the hole is facing in the right direction so they should be all the same height so now we can have another go I usually cut out that little L because the second time it doesn't work otherwise Straightening the string and start with the same procedure we had before, creating a little L downwards, pulling it back. clockwise around the pin just once now I'm using my tuning key and turning it anti-clockwise out of the wood over the little L which we have created and turning it keep going and now I'm feeling yeah that's starting the tension is there that's enough we already have to have a little note there the tuning we do afterwards so good luck with all that